Hey, it's Duke at Developer in Spirals here. Welcome back to Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge is my effort to share what I challenge myself to learn every day with you. Every week I will send out to you at least 7 new iOS tutorials and courses via email. All you need to do is to subscribe to developerinspirers.io. Alright, in this daily challenge, we will learn to integrate Facebook and Twitter into a sharing feature in our existing app. So here's what the app will look like after this daily challenge. This is the app that we have been building in the All Things Table View series. So we have um, those standard cells like that. And as I scroll or I drag it to the left like this, I have two buttons. The first one is delete, which you are very familiar with. But the second one is share button. So as I click into the share button, there will be an action sheet shows me two options. The first one is Twitter and the second one is Facebook. So I can click into Twitter. Let's say I click into Twitter. And then it could prompt me something called a tweet or Twitter composer. And then I can um, click into something like some text or there will be some image over here. Okay. And I attempt to uninstall the Facebook account in my simulator so that when I click into Facebook, it will prompt me an alert view shows that Facebook is unavailable. So you should be going to settings and set up your Facebook. Okay. So let's find out how to integrate Twitter and Facebook into this. The first thing I want you to do is go to the um, link right down below, whether you're on YouTube or at the developer inspire us, download the starter project and let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is go to in, um, I want to import the framework that allows us to do all of these sharing stuff. A few years ago, it is incredibly hard to integrate Facebook or any social networking service and you want to share something with those networking services, you have to, let's say, you have to register with Facebook. They will have to make some API calls. It's very complicated. But since iOS 6 or iOS 5, I think, um, Apple provides a framework called the social framework. So all we need to do is just to import this social framework and write a few lines of code. So let's do that. So I will import social. Okay. So I import social in the Apple products table view controller.squiff. This is the class that um, empowers the main view you see over here. Okay. So I will scroll down to um, right down below here, be upper the helper method. I will have a mark, which is um, the table view cell action. So mark table view cell action. Okay. So let's an analyze some things over here. This is the table view we have so far. As I drag it like that, I have two buttons. So what is the action when I drag it like this? It is called a row action. So we'll have to do something with this row action so that we can show a share button like that, right? So when I click into share button, there will be an action sheet and as I click into those, I will do the actual sharing stuff. So the first thing we will need to do is we will have to find out what is the row action. Well, the answer is we'll have to override the edit actions for row at index path. So I will type table view and then I will need to find the edit action for rows at index path. Okay. And don't forget to over here, we actually overriding this method. All right. So the thing that I'm going, I'm going to show you right now is very generic. You can actually add to any, um, any app that you are working on, not necessarily that you are working on a table view, you can have a button and then you can do whatever you need over here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, I will want to grab what I want to share. And in this app, in this particular case, it is a product. So we'll do let's product equals product lines 
sub index path dot section and then I have this product line but a product lines have some products and each the products is an array of product so I have index path dot row like that then I have this specific product at this index path okay so the next thing is we want to grab the product title so I do let product title product title like that and then product dot title okay so um, as as you see that we have a tweet composer or a Facebook com composer later on there will be some initial text we will need to set so that the user don't have to specify again or if you are working on your own app and maybe you want to share something of your own like mm, your brain mark um, thing in the app maybe you want to show the user that this is belongs to my company or something so you want to have some initial text so we will do let initial text equals I will use string interpolation over here and this is product title okay and two dashes follows okay so I want to have an image also that image equals product dot image and that is an UI image okay so the next thing I want to do is I will have a share action um, this edit action for rows at index path method we will have to pa return an array of action an array of UI table re UI table view row action actually so I will have the first thing is var share action okay and this is a UI table view row action and the designated initializer is style title and handler so the style just is default default the title is share with okay and then the handler let's press, press enter okay inside this is an closure and this closure has two things the first one is an action UI table view row action the second one is the index path so I would do action and index path okay and if you are not familiar with um, closure it is basically just a um, function and it will capture or you host any variables or any code inside this and then um, it will it will execute those code inside this closure okay and then inside here we have to write some code so the first thing I want to do is I will have a share action sheet right as we click into this share button then this closure will get executed and then as this closure executed I want to prompt an action sheet so let's do an action sheet so I have to let share action sheet action sheet equals UI alert controller and the title is um, share with the message is nil don't care about that the preferred style is action sheet okay so uh, over here the title this title maybe I just want it to be share okay and that is actually the title of the button all right the next thing is I want to have a Twitter sharing action so let Twitter action equals UI alert action action and I have to provide a title, the style, and the handler. The, uh, the title, just simply Twitter. I want to share with Twitter. The st style is default, okay? And the handler, again, is an, um, a closure. And maybe this time I want to show you uh, something called a trailing closure. So I go delete the whole thing like that. And then just like this, okay? And because this closure has one parameter called an action, so I would do action and in just like this. And you see that I don't have to specify the type of this parameter. And the uh, the secret is script infers this type just like variable and constant. Okay. So inside this closure is where we will do the actual sharing stuff with Twitter or Facebook later on. 